Thomas Trey here from My Custom Life, and um, we're doing vlog number two of our weekly vlogs that I said we we're going to do last week. That um, we do every week from now on. We're going to talk about things we had some some struggles in the last week, some ways that we got over those, and then some goals that we have for this week to come. Some struggles we had for last week. Um, the week before the video I talked about was our nutrition. We finally got that all under control. We got a nice meal plan on our macros and stuff, so that's definitely helping us a lot. One thing that we had trouble with is going back to the gym. And uh, we've been in and out of the gym for a while. You know, we, we, we would go for a long time and we'd have some troubles. You know, we just had a baby not too long ago, so that's definitely kind of made a struggle for us to try and find someone that can watch her. The gym we go to has, a hundred, has you know, child care, but I'm really not a big fan of that. But anyway... That's one struggle that we had this past week. And uh, one way we got, we usually get through that is we also have our little home gym. Something that we like to do, we, we, create, our own, we cr create our own workouts or we find the workouts that we find from like um, uh, Athlete Next has some really good ones out there. Uh, First Form has a lot of good workouts out there. Um, we find different ones that people that we go to the gym with. And then, uh, you know, we kind of just put them all together and create our own little workout. And um, so we finally started to get that under control where we can start working out every single day, whether it be going to the gym, doing a heavy lift, or just staying here and doing like cardio core training, or maybe calisthenics training, or maybe just doing just, you know, four or five sets of push-ups, four or five sets of, of uh, oh, with uh, crutches or sit-ups you know doing doing different variations of them so you're not getting used to it but uh some things we have set for this week to come we're about to go walking we're probably going to talk a lot about it but we got some things coming up uh we're going to start getting into breeding dogs we're going to start getting into i'm making knives right now so i'm going to start getting into doing that maybe making that as a business one thing i want to show you real quick and uh one of these knives i want to make a video over just a simple uh, tutorial, how-to type video. Ooh, there we go. This knife, I haven't done that, but um, I'm definitely gonna do it for another knife. But anyway, this is one of them that I've got started on. It's not quite finished yet. It's doing some spine work on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's gonna show up on the camera. But anyway, that's one that I'm working on. And I got the other ones cut out. My Work bench is so dead gun dirty. I got the other ones cut out, ready to go. Like here's one of them. That one I'll probably make a video over. That one I'm probably gonna make really good so I can sell. Here's another one. I'm gonna make this one just a little longer. So I got a little more material up front. It's gonna be a nice paring knife, Santoku style paring knife. And then I got another little piece of chocolate steel. I'm gonna make a neck knife for my wife. But anyway, that's some stuff we got going on right there. I'm going to make another video over... Well, it's probably going to be a series. That's probably what it's going to be. Because the stuff that I'm using is a quarter inch thick 5160 high carbon steel. And uh, because it's quarter inch thick, it takes a while to get through. And I don't have all the fancy tools just yet, like a belt grinder or anything like that, or see what else that I wanted yet. Yeah, belt grinder, drill press, stuff like that. I just use a uh, angle grinder to rough in the bevels and I use a file to finish them up. And uh, the bevels that you saw on that knife, I hand filed the whole bevel on each side. And uh, it doesn't take as long as I thought it would, but it does take some time. But anyway, I'm going to make a series of videos kind of like I already got it cut out and then you know how to get it rough shaped and stuff like that because it's a fairly easy knife to rough shape. There's not a whole lot of grooves, not a whole lot of finger choils to try and uh, rough in or to grind in because I got the angle grinder and I got, and I got a table grinder. But uh, that's going to be some more videos we're going to come out with. And we're going to come out with some more videos, uh, informational videos, like I said in the last, in the last vlog. We're going to come out with some more informational videos, like I did one over micronutrients. And then I'm going to do one over macronutrients that some people might want to get into as far as a diet, a meal plan over macronutrients. And I'm going to talk about, you know, protein powders versus real food, you know, um, uh, carbs and stuff like that. A lot of stuff that, you know, a lot of people already have knowledge on. And there's plenty of videos out there. But just to kind of give you my input on it, give you the knowledge that I've learned. And um, I really started getting into fitness 
I've been in it my whole life, but I really started getting into the real heavy nutritional side of it, you know, a few years ago. And the knowledge I've gained in just that short amount of time is amazing to me. And uh, because I was a lot of things in the fitness and nutritional world mislead a lot of people. And that's one thing that a lot of uh, fitness experts or nutritional experts will say is that a lot of times people are just misled by so much of the false information out there about certain things. So, you know, the true knowledge that I've learned in the last few years has really opened my eyes to the nutritional world and it has really helped me be able to stay with a certain meal plan that I know that works, you know, you get food that I know that's going to help me, you know, eat it a certain way, you know, your time management on your, or time nutrition that you eat, different meals go together better than certain meals. And that's something we're going to talk about because... A lot of people will overcomplicate certain things. Like I was doing certain meal plans that were so that gum complex that it was really stressing both me and my wife out just to eat. Because they were they, you know, they would say you have to eat this at a certain time and it was always foods that we either never ate or were expensive and really couldn't buy. And uh, so we so we started doing the macros and I was doing the macros a couple years ago and it really worked. And so we started doing that and, and that's one thing I'll talk about is how to figure out a macro plan and I use it's a company called macro solutions and uh, it's actually a PDF you download it and it downloads two books and two books you it's like I think it's like $27 which is pretty cheap because what you get is a 140 page downloadable book talking all about macros how to use macros how to uh, pay attention to your macros because your macros goes off your carbs your protein and your fat and then it also talks about how to use like a an app called uh, My Fitness Pal, which helps you track your food. And in there, it helps track your macros, and it's real easy. And then uh, you get two books: one on fat loss, one on on muscle gaining. So you can either macro have a macro meal plan for losing weight or cutting, or you can have a macro meal plan for gaining muscle or bulking. You know, whichever one you want to use. And um, you also get ten different style meal plans macro meal plans with real easy foods that most of you normally eat or or have ate in the past that you like it's not like you got to buy a whole new pantry full of food you know kind of like redoing your wardrobe you don't have to go to the store and buy all new stuff and maybe you don't like half of that stuff and you gotta just kind of choke it down just to get it this you don't have to worry about that it, it allows you to eat some stuff that you normally eat some stuff that you probably wouldn't think would be on the traditional meal plan but doing so it still allows you to lose weight because they pair it in a certain way where the different foods the acidity levels and stuff will help uh break down fat and stuff like that it, re- it really works we've been doing it for a couple of weeks and we've, we've already started losing weight and um so that's one thing i'm, I'm definitely going to talk about is the company macro solutions and you know, the knife videos, the more informational videos, and we're going to be doing these vlogs every week. I'm a little late today because it's Monday. I was supposed to do the vlog yesterday, but we had a bunch of stuff going on. Halfway through the day, my phone died. We had church yesterday. We got home, cleaned my daughter's room so she could sleep in there, and that's kind of why our front room is a little dirty today. But anyway, so I'm a day late, but I'm still getting it out. So. This Sunday, I'm going to start doing them in the morning. That way, we don't have to worry about it. And uh, I can get it out first thing in the morning. Oh, speaking of my daughter. Hi. Hi. Do you want to be on video? Yeah. Hi. Say hello. Hello. All right. Well, we're going to let y'all go. I hope y'all, I hope everyone has a great rest of the day and a great rest of the week. And I hope everyone stays safe. You say bye-bye. You want blow sugars? Oh, you want to give sugars? Oh, oh fell over. It's all right. Oh, blow sugars. <laughs> all right. Well, anyway, hope everyone has a great rest of the day. We'll see y'all later. Love y'all. Bye.